Watching the Georgia Bulldogs game, man. Anybody keeping up with the Indiana Ohio State game? Woo, Ric Flair. But anyway, um, this ain't no college football video. This is an NFL video. Falcons versus the Texans, man. I just want to do a quick video. Just to touch on a couple of things, man. Um, it's not hate week for me. It's not a hate week for your boy Joe Rock. It's more or less of a uh, a win we got to have, man. This is one of the games that I marked, I circled on my calendar. Um, did I know that the Texans won't would not be having a winning record? No. I actually had them having a winning record at this point, especially in that weak division. I had the Colts not playing so well this year. Um, and they're doing all right. You know, they could be doing way better. Andrew Luck sucking this year. But moving on, uh, I, I seen a couple people videos, man. I seen, I seen King Tight video. He said something in that video that pissed me off. Uh, he talked about how the, the Atlanta Falcons offense line is trash. We're going to get dominated by their front seven. And before we get into that, their front seven consists of Jadavion Clowney, J.J. Watt, Vince Woolfork. Uh, fuck. What's the other linebacker name, man? Uh, Marcella. What the fuck his name is? I forgot the other linebacker name. They also have uh, Brian Cushing. This is a pretty good front seven. But outside of that front seven, this team is not all that, man. Um, they got DeAndre. What is that? DeAndre Hopkins. Whatever fuck his name is. They got him. Uh... If they keep him on one side, matter of fact, I'm not I'm not afraid of him at all. Our secondary is way better than their wide receiver core. Um, hopefully, Jaden Strong don't have a big a come out game against us. Um, actually, he's one of the wide receivers that I had. Uh, I did a hangout talking about him, and everybody was like, "Oh, he ain't shit." Yada 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 yada. He's one of the wide receivers that I thought was gonna be good this season as a rookie wide receiver. Um, but uh. Arizona State. But uh, anyway, man, this team, this is one of the games that I say we match up very well, man. They got a good front seven, true indeed, but our offensive line is playing lights out. A lot of people is overlooking the offensive line. Our offensive line is playing lights out. All you got to do, go to some of these, your favorite websites, man, and, and check out what we're doing on the offensive line, man. Um, I think we rank, like, number two as far as pass blocking. Um, least hurries on Matt Ryan and least sacked and all that shit like that this season. And <laughs> as far as run game, we I think we ranked like number four or some shit like that as far as run game. Um, as far as offensive line production, man, uh, go to Pro Football Talk. You'll see the shit. All that good shit, man. So for people like King Tight to talk about my offensive line is trash and all that shit, you obviously either stupid or just like everybody in the TTC do. They always base – they basing what they know about Atlanta Falcons off of last year. Uh, for the past two seasons, Matt Ryan has been the most sacked quarterback in the NFL. Him and Tannehill have been back and forth. Last year, I want to say Tannehill was most sacked, and Ryan was like the third most sacked. And the year before that, Matt Ryan was the most sacked quarterback. This year is a whole different thing, man. Um, <clears throat> I'm not saying we, uh, Matt Ryan, we clean this game, but I, I, I like our chances. I've been liking our chance, what we've been doing as far as offense line. And that's something that myself, uh, I know for a fact, Sean J, Fantasy Football, and ATL Ghost, I know for a fact those three guys been saying it. But myself also, we've been saying this shit during the whole offseason that this new run scheme, man, this new zone blocking scheme, I mean to say, is going to work wonders with our offensive line. And it has, man. It has worked wonders as far as, as, far as our offensive line. Um... Uh, what I expect, I, what I expect, man, is uh, for them to watch the game from last week and be more cautious of the run. So I expect to see um, uh, Shanahan, Kyle Shanahan, to come out and say, "Hey, everybody's seen what Devontae Freeman did last week as far as the run game." So this week we're gonna do like Week One against the Eagles, which are, uh, a lot of people probably watched the game, a lot of people didn't. Matt Ryan has so many play action run, man, play action plays, man. Let's get a whole bunch of play action going, and and, and get this front seven and 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 the linebackers to goddamn get get somebody in the box, you know, and let let's let Roddy White, Hankerson, and uh, excuse me, other players like that to get open. Julio Jones, he's gonna have his game, man. Uh, I think the best cornerback is fucking. 
I forgot her first name, last name Joseph, if I'm not mistaken. He's pretty fucking good. Is he anybody special? No. Uh, I think the Giants had better cornerbacks. The fucking Cowboys had better. Fucking uh, everybody we played so far had a better secondary than this team. So I expect if our offense uh, do what I expect them to do, a whole lot of play action, then our, our wide receivers should have a field day on the secondary, man. Um, but yeah, offensive line playing well, man. I don't know why a lot of people got down trashing the offensive line like we trash this year for offensive line wise. We've been stepping it up. Offensive line have been stepping up. And that's without Jake Long have been Jake Long have been yet to implement it into this offensive line yet. So once he come around and, and get his foot on his ground, get running, man, offensive line should be one of the best in the league. Man. And yes, I said it, motherfuckers. Just all you gotta do is just go go check the shit, man. I think Atlanta Falcon offense, we ranked number two. As far as total offense in the NFL, right behind the New England Patriots. So, King Tyke, uh, uh, whoever else, man. I seen a couple people video mention my Falcons and shit, man. But do your research, man. Uh, we should be out. Right. They basing this upon, this is the same goddamn King Tyke. That I, no, I think T Money said in his video that, uh, Cam Newton didn't know it might have been King Tight. That Cam Newton didn't get sacked not one time against his team. So, anyway, if y'all can do it, if your offensive line can hold up against this front seven, mine can. All right. Moving on. Defensively, man, hey, all we got to do is keep doing what we're doing. I heard Arian Foster might be back this week. I prefer to have Arian Foster back this week. Reason being because when you have a when a lot of these running backs and shit have injuries, especially running backs, they kind of start off kind of slow. Somebody who ain't playing a while at a running back position, you start off slow, man. You seen what Agent Peters did week one? Not much, but he's finally you know getting his legs money. He's taking off right now, but when they when when you first come back, man, a lot of people you know, they worry about that leg, the injury or something like that. They don't play as well their first week, so I'm kind of wanting Arian Foster back. Uh, Hopkins. I mean, come on, man. Our secondary, we got Devin Trufant out there. Whenever Hopkins line up across from Devin Trufant, if, if if they don't do like the Giants, then would take their best wide receiver and put on the other side, we should be okay. And to be honest with you, I don't think Hopkins is nowhere near the caliber of uh, of uh, what's his name, uh, 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 ODB man, Odell Green, uh, Odell Beckham Jr. Nowhere near his level of talent, man. So we should be all right, man. Um, their offense, they got a pretty good offensive line, too, matter of fact. So we should, uh, offensive line is pretty fucking good. I know they got a pretty good left tackle. I forgot the guy's name. Um, quarterback, pff, not worried about that, man. I, uh, like I said, outside of Hopkins, man, um, d depending on where they put him at in this offense, we should be okay. If they keep him on the right side, we should be perfect. I think Desmond Trufant had three balls thrown towards him this whole season. Um, he's going to have one of those Darrell Reeves type season, man. Darrell Reeves didn't make his name when he was with the Jets the first time uh, that one year. He didn't make his name off of uh, how many interceptions and shit he got. If you look at that year, I think it was 09, if not mistaken. I can't remember exactly what year, but I think it was 09. He got his island name from the receivers he played that year and what type of – how many times he got caught on and how many receiving yards that receivers got on him that year. I think the most receiving yards the receiver got on that year was like 50 yards. I think that was fucking Randy Moss or somebody. And, you know, it is what it is, man. We should uh, – we should – this should be a game we win like 27-10, I want to say, somewhere in that nature. We'll see. Joe, Alabama just went up 9-3. to three. A big ass fucking running back just ran for a touchdown, man. Um, yeah, <laughs> this shit is Georgia Bama game distracting me, man. I, wanted, I just want to hurry up and get this video out of the way. I don't know if I said it yet in this video or not. Cause I recorded this shit three times. Shout out to Cameron Dawson. Didn't know he was a Georgia Bulldog fan, man, at all. I knew he was a Bucks fan, Tampa Bay Buccaneers fan, but he just came out and said he was a Bulldog fan. Y'all go watch his video, man. Um. But yeah, man, it should be it should be one of those games. Like I said, we match up very well against this team, and we we gotta play. Also, 
We got to play mistake free, man. No mistakes, man. We got to come out burn, uh, uh, turning all cylinders, mistake free. No none of that shit. No no bad snap. No none of that shit, man. No bad pass by Matt Ryan. Nothing. We need to play mistake free. Least amount of penalties that possible. We should win this game comfortable, man. Um, I'll be damned. I'll be damned if the Texans uh, the Texans beat us. But uh, this is your boy Joe Rock. Um, kind of distracted right now. I'm going to let y'all boys finish y'all day. Rise the fuck up, man. A lot of play action, man. Remember that shit. If Kyle, shit, if Kyle Shanahan do what I think he should do, a lot of play action shit work, man. And quit falling asleep on my office line, man. This new blocking scheme, man, working wonders for my office line. Um, Roddy White, big game, man. But it's your boy Joe Rock signing out. I'll let y'all, man.